esports and gaming, hot topics, hot spaces, as spicy as memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. You are indeed, and I am Brody Moore. Let me explain to you how this show works. We're going to put two minutes on the clock for each item we're presenting, and then we're going to discuss. Mm, that's true. However, there's a shut up button right mm. here in which one of us can press once if we feel the other is being stupid. Shout out to chat because we like it when you call us out when we're wrong and agree with us when we're spitting truth. So let's get to the discussion. Okay, Brody, you ready, baby? Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, I'm ready let's to use go. this. Yeah, I know. Okay, <laughs> listen. We're going to start our stories with the game that we all know and love, Apex Legends. Mm -hmm. Respawn Entertainment CEO Vince Impella said on Wednesday that the developer is sticking with its seasonal update plan for its popular Battle Royale. The plan is that a new Battle Pass will be released every three months. As Impella does not want to overwork the team working on the game. Oh, I think that shots fired at Epic a little bit. Players have decided to update uh, the update plan saying that it's a major reason the game has slowly been losing popularity, so they're not really into it. So, Brody, what do you think of this plan, and yes. should Respawn change it? So, I, I read a few articles on this. Oh. Uh, it comes perfectly... Yeah, I read. Research. Surprise, surprise. Uh, no, uh, it, it comes perfectly after the finding about Epic's crunch time. Yeah. Um, and what was cool is, uh, apparently, apparently. The, the success of this game actually took um, Respawn by surprise. They actually didn't realize it was going to be this popular. Oh. Um, seeing as, you know, the last two Titanfalls had a, a niche group, but, like, it didn't explode. So right. this took them by surprise, um, and that's... Then they also found out with more people playing that there was... Uh, there were a lot more bugs than they realized were actually in the game. Yes. So their focus is to fix those and make the experience good for everyone, because mm -hmm. they say if it's not good for well, even one person, that means it's not good for everyone. That's true. So their, their goal is to make this just a good, smooth experience for everyone, and then roll out content. Mm. without having to overwork mm. any of their employees, which I think is respectable. To, to me, I think it's great. I don't think it's losing too much popularity. Of course, uh, it's going to even out. Any game will explode and drop back down again. If, if anybody call it, I'm going to say, if anybody's calling out that this game is dying, you're wrong. Okay, well, a lot of people have been calling that well, out. Especially people wrong. that love Fortnite, okay, they call it out. Guys. Okay, okay. You, can you not take your what? anger out on chat right now and the people that actually chat, don't like playing Apex? Wrong. Just calm your actual tits, bud. <laughs> uh, listen, I do appreciate what Respawn is doing. I love these guys. They're a studio based in Vancouver. Really great people that work there. I did a studio tour a little while ago as well. They're incredible. They, they're really hardworking. And yes, I'm sure they fall victim to some crunch sometimes too. But I love that they kind of put out their, like, Zampella kind of shots fired at Epic. I think that that, um, yes, people have fallen off from it, and I think that they were surprised by the success because of the fact that this is a new marketing tool that they mm -hmm. use to just pay a bunch of influencers to play their game, and then all of a sudden, oh my god, everybody's playing this game. Of course they were surprised. They had never done this before. Well, it was also that they had diverted uh, the resources from doing Titanfall 3 to make this yeah. more of as like a push to promote Titanfall 3 when mm. it eventually comes out. So now they're probably pumped that Titanfall 3 is probably going to have a big following mm. once it comes out. Well, that's just There's speculation. There's a lot going on. Either that's way, just hearsay and speculation. It's all good. Okay. Moving on, in Overwatch, Blizzard has revealed that the Overwatch World Cup will be returning for another year. Oh. It's going to be held at BlizzCon like past events, but this year there will be a new preliminary stage that will allow for more countries to compete in the tournament. Unless they're a top 10 team, however, mm. Blizzard won't pay for travel expenses. National committee members will be chosen in May and the players will be picked in July. What? Now, the real question I have here is, if they're going to run an international event, should they not be paying for everyone's travel or nobody's travel? Yeah, hold Seems on. kind of unfair. Oh, hold on, they're not paying for the top teams because the top teams have money and they can pay for them da their damn stuff. No, they're unless you're a top team, they're not paying. Oh, they're only paying yeah. for the top teams. Yeah. Okay, well that's not fair. I don't think it's fair at all. You got to pick and fair. choose, right? Yeah, like, no, you can't Blizzard, pick and choose. Uh -uh, you guys got Monday. You got all kinds of Monday. You couldn't fly out those teams. I mean, it's your fault for making a game that has so many players and so many subs that can come in. So maybe they make a rule where they're only going to pay for the actual mains for like the six people that are going to be playing the game and the coach. They can make a rule like that. Fine, whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah, but you can't yeah, yeah. just pick and choose, being like, um, these guys are better, so we're going to pay for them. I do not like that. That is favoritism. It's not okay. And I get that it's all about the money, but if you're going to pay for some, you got to pay for all. That's just even steeper. Yeah, because then you're saying that, oh, you know what, these these developing regions that don't have top teams, yeah. uh, you know what, we're just going to like suffocate you even more, so yeah. you'll never be a top team. You're taking away an opportunity for these uh, these regions that may have weaker teams mm. to get the experience to be stronger. And now you overall have stacked regions, right. and, and, and you're committing these other regions to be meme regions. Like, oh, they're not good meme and they're never going to be good because even Blizzard doesn't take them seriously. Meme regions. No, nope. I tried to regions? merge the words together. That didn't Reem work. Regions? I, I have a cold. It's, nothing's working right now. <laughs> Listen, uh, no, I think that this is obviously the case in many other genres too. It's not just Overwatch that's doing this. It's not just Blizzard that's like, hey, we'll pay for the top 
players. No, like a lot of other genres do too. Yeah. You see it in the FGC as well. It's just unfortunate that when you have money, you continue to get things for free. I do not like that life. It's just a society it's a that we live in. Man. What's it's your a top, top. You stay at the top. No, I don't like it. If we want these other players to play, if we, I mean, they haven't even given a lot of love to their contenders league either. Like they've taken a lot of things away mm -hmm. from those that don't have much, and I don't like it. It's it's capitalism at its finest. It's all or nothing. You help everyone, or you help nobody. Oh, I think we agree. Ac accuse us of being Canadian socialists. <laughs> ah, moving on over in League of Legends, the first match fixing case since 2014 has resulted in a number of bans. LMS team Dragon Gate has been permanently removed from the LMS after the league found a number of cases of match fixing and betting on pro games. The team's owner has been permanently banned. The jungler has been suspended for 18 months, and the coach and manager for 12 months. Dragon Gate is apparently planning on suing Riot over the suspensions. Brody. Do you think the punishment fits the crime? So my my face was was this uh -huh. uh, leading up to it, like okay, yeah, I'm on scale, and okay. then the fact they want to sue them, I I went to yeah. Where's the logic in that? Well, it's like when you're back. You screwed up. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? No, when you're back into the corner, it's like what do you do? You start you start throwing fists, right? You start like trying to get back at them. Those are those are weak punches. But like you get like, you what catch. What are they trying to sue them for? Is it like defamation? Is it like lost um, wages? Yeah, they can, like what is like for sure? Yeah, definitely both of those things, right? Because they're tainting their brand, they're tainting their name, and if it's not true, then obviously that's gonna hurt big time. But why do they not do the logistics here? Do they not find out that it is real life? Like this is this is what yeah, they did. Yeah, it, 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 like this it? this is other people's careers on yeah. the line that you're messing with if you're doing fixing, yeah. right? Like betting is fine. Like if you're an adult and you want to gamble with your money, then yeah. you go ahead and do that. Um, but you can't do it if you have any kind of influence mm. on a thing, right? Mm. Like I, I would never end up betting on Rocket League because of an influence I have. Other esports that I'm not in, fine. That's Actually, no problem. Actually, let's find out if that's true or not. Let's start sleuthing. Let's find out if Brody has have? other accounts that we don't know about. Because yeah, this is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens. Like when people know how to use and abuse the internet mm -hmm. for their greater good, for their greed, some people will do it. So I mean, I love that there has been an investigation into this, and they have found out that this is happening because then other people can look at and see like, okay. Okay, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't be this evil. Maybe we shouldn't do any match fixing. Maybe we shouldn't try to get no, money this way. No, they did learn their lesson. They're trying to fight back. No, but <laughs> no, but other teams that are doing this. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. We'll see them be like, oh, okay, never mind. Oh, wait, never mind. so do you Let's think there's a lot of this cancel. going on? Of course. Oh my God, you definitely. Out, like just that region, the LMS. I'm or? not just calling out that region. This happens everywhere, uh -oh. all the time. You saw it in uh -oh. CS:GO. You saw it in CS:GO uh -oh. years ago. <laughs> a long time ago. Yes, of course. And those power. people got in trouble, yeah. and uh, some of them have been let back into the league. So I mean, there is some give and take here. It's like, do you risk it because you want to, you know, risk sit on a nice a throne for your biscuit? Uh, I mean, these people have been doing it for a minute. Obviously. They know what yep. they're doing, although they got caught this time. So shame on you. The punishment does fit the crime, even though I asked you that. You didn't really answer the question, but whatever. Whatever, we have to move on, so okay, I still fine. can't answer it. Lastly, the next champion for League of Legends has been leaked. How, you ask? <laughs> well, YouTuber Nasty accidentally released a new video on his channel promoting a champion called Yumi. While the video was taken down, the thumbnail lives on. <laughs> this isn't the first time, though, a League partner has leaked a new champion. Akali's rework was leaked last year by YouTuber Thumbnail as mm. well. Uh, mm. Now, do you think these leakers should be punished even if it was an accident? It's because, an accident. you know, I think it's a yeah, it, like sly little look. That's not an accident. Yo, you <laughs> want views, you want people watching you, you want subs, you want likes, you want people hitting that bell to know when you get a new video up for notifications, yo, you're going to leak that stuff because it makes you uh, on the tip of people's and tongue, think about right? This they are. Too. Think about this. If it was just a regular release, do you think we'd be talking about this as much Heck right now? Nah. And now we're spreading it to other people that may not have known? Yeah. Now everyone knows. Right? Well, we know your game. <laughs> we see you. We know what's up. It's fine. I mean, if Brody had the opportunity to leak something, I'm sure he would too. What? No, you I like to, to I get like more followers. I'm not going to like, yo, straight up, yeah. I'm actually so good with not leaking things because in all reality, the next day I'm told something, I've forgotten about it. <laughs> I just straight up forget, forget that it's something important that yeah, I know. Yeah, it helps when you're dumb. I'm, <laughs> Like wow, it helps when you're an idiot. No, no, that's just true. It helps I'm, when you're an no, idiot. No, I'm just very uh, trustable, and and you can uh -huh. yeah, you yeah, can you, tell me everything. You do have one of those trustworthy faces. No, I wouldn't say the like, face is what does it. It's because of your like low cheekbones and like no chin. My no chin. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for making. That's who you, what is this today? <laughs> uh, no, you're leaving me, so I get to make fun of you all I want. This is just oh, how this okay. works. Okay. Usually you guys have been doing it. We've derailed hard now, but usually yeah. you guys have been doing it when I'm gone, when I can't fight back. <laughs> I know. This is what I want to do in your face. But now you're saying See, true things, and I can't fight uh, back. <laughs> 
room because it hurts. It hurts so good. Listen, uh, we gotta move on from this. I just feel like they did, definitely did this on purpose. Uh, yeah. This is 100, <laughs> like 100 in on purpose. That's it. That's all I got. Okay. Kay? Well, then move us on. Now it's time to see right. what streamers are up to in Clip It. Sometimes the internet will remind you of the dark past that you choose to forget. And streamer Michaela, well, that's exactly what happened. I showed in the video. So you are hardcore stalking somehow. Four subscribers, sit the hell up. Hello, guest sports player here. First video, I'm going to play my very own favorite piece, the violin. Even though it's not sport, well, I think it sort of is, but you can comment on that. Okay. Hit my face off. already dying though. Wait, was that was that a joke oh that she put up the, like for that first video a joke though? Like she didn't actually think she was good at violin, right? <laughs> I, like, I've seen people first starting off think that that's good. They hear a noise because <laughs> they don't know what actually is good, right? <laughs> it's I think it's the Bader Meinhof curve where you think your your confidence yeah, yeah. level is way above yeah, yeah. your actual skill level. Yeah, no, it's that, like me playing ukulele, I get that's, it. That's that's fun. You know what's really fun actually is to go back to unless they're that bad. Go back to some of your old videos. Weirdly enough, what? that's exactly what I was doing last night. Oh, you were? Yeah, I ended up just going through some of my old videos and be like, hmm, are there any actually good ones? Not really, but like uh, it's still fun to see yeah, how you've yeah. grown over the years. Oh, Do, for sure. Oh, you haven't really done much YouTube, though. Yeah, I have. I put up a video of me failing. Is it uh, still trying there? Ollie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've seen that one. Yeah, yeah, it's still up there. But my biggest disappointment is that I never actually achieved it. So it's just one long video of fail. Like at the end, there was no achievement. That was it. It was just me failing. The achievement so, was our um, oh, happiness. Your, your happiness. So thank you very failure. much for that. Oh, my gosh, you're welcome. I also <laughs> have another, like, I have plenty of cringe clips just from hosting Bring them in. Bring them no, in. We'll like, put them know, in crowd no. control. One time. No, no, All right, next clip time is from X, uh, EXBC Uso, who is teaching us a life lesson. Mm -hmm. Never put your body where it doesn't belong. It will never turn out well. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. oh, nice content. Nice content. Oh, Hosu is stuck. Hosu is broken. What? What? Ria? Ria is stuck? Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop it, stop it. Don't do anything, okay? He said, like, if you don't, nothing, then it will open, for sure. Open! It will open, this moment. What? Okay, okay, okay. Nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were, could be locked. It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> are you are you serious? I would lose my freaking mind. How I you know what actually wait, how did she turn up. around in there? That is a big locker. Yeah, maybe it's wider in there than we think. Yeah. There's like a, you know it's, it's like a Pokeball. When you go inside, it's actually like there's like a luxury bed, <laughs> fireplace and everything. Like a genie lamp. Yeah, it's like she just went to Narnia and came back. And came back. No, seriously, that is my one of my biggest nightmares. Being just locked being, in a locker? No, not just, just being like in a confined space like uh, that. Claustrophobia. And just phobia. Yeah, but I feel like that could happen to anybody, right? Like you just get you get inside your mind a little bit and you just realize yeah. that oh my god, it's dark in here. Oh my god, it's a tiny the key space. Thing oh my god, is to not sweet. to panic. I know, don't panic, but then you start thinking about the fact that you can't panic and then you start freaking yourself out because you, you can't panic. panic. It's, like a, it's, it's a cyclical a cycle. thing of anxiety. My God, okay, we gotta move on before I have a panic attack yeah, right now. Lockers, okay? it's, it's time to see what the pros have been sharing on social media with profound thoughts. The first post comes from friend of the show, Smitecaster F. Dot, as this is the kind of inkling you do not want to mess with. Yeah. He says, with a single load of laundry, I have destroyed my entire wardrobe. The pen is truly mightier. Yeah, I uh, saw that. I saw that earlier. Yeah. Um, the, the best comment I saw was someone saying, uh, how do you know that it's mightier? Have you even tried putting a sword in there? Oh my god, people are so annoying. That was genius. That is so stupid. That was Did you like Yo, that one, didn't you? You're the I'm, worst. I'm not going to no. lie. I kind of need 
to do that. Like, I, I might int accidentally put a pen in my load because, like, I kind of want to refresh anyways. Yeah, I might actually Some new put fresh a pen threads. in my load. Yeah. Uh, Brody, <laughs> we all know that you don't even do your own laundry. Your dad does it for you, so let's no! just lie. No! What the hey, dude? Yeah. I, all hey. right, okay, like, we, listen. You I don't, am you don't work next to this guy. He doesn't, even, he doesn't wash his stuff at all. Like, he doesn't do, I'm, I'm certain you do not wash your clothes. Like, 100. what? It's going Brody, on tell here. The truth. Tell I the shower truth. with my clothes on. No, I'm can you? He I am not know how to do laundry. This is just an attack on my character. I'm <laughs> suing you for defamation. <laughs> Anyways, next up, E United uh, GM Clerky just moved out of uh, mom's basement, but Aww. mom isn't a mom without sending a little guilt his way. He tweets, "I moved out yesterday, and my mom sent me this. It's so sad. Oh my gosh." The caption reads. Ollie is waiting for you to get up and take a shower. She sends at 3 p.m. <laughs> at 3 p.m. she yeah. sends that. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, it's the game or life, dude. Like, <laughs> you usually... I can't. Come on. If you didn't have to get up, to, to if, like, no one said you have to get up, you'd be getting up at 3 p.m. I don't know. I have guilt, though. Like, I have serious guilt. I did this when I was heavy into Skyrim because I just played a lot and I didn't... I took the week off work and I just didn't do anything but play. And then I would sleep in and wake up yeah. that late. I had so much guilt about it. Oh, I have no guilt. No, yeah, no remorse that. whatsoever. Getting up at three. Detergent. Our last profound thought comes from caster extraordinaire Rich Campbell. There has been a trend on Twitter, uh, well, the last few days actually, where you list your five jobs. Well, here's Rich's <laughs> considerate list: the five jobs he has. <laughs> your mom's sugar baby. <laughs> Came us straight up, Richard. Yo, my mom would eat you alive, B. Yo. She would, she would eat you alive, B. You can't even handle what Tina's bringing based, to the table. Based off of his tweet, he definitely has a comeback to get you on what you just said there, too. What? The yeah, you, yeah, yeah. The, you definitely no, no, threw yourself no, out of us no, on that one. No, no, no. Yo, he my got mom, everyone on, on that fire. one, though. Like, she, no, she That's... would destroy him. That, that would be like 10 jobs for him. No, it's not working. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was gonna do that, but then I realized with the success of my streaming that it doesn't count as a real job. <laughs> so like, I couldn't even list five. Are you, wait, are you salting on your own self? Yeah, now, uh, now I'm insulting myself. I'm pulling the M&M. If I insult myself, you have to stop, because you have nothing left. But I love you. Yeah, well, it's not showing right now. <laughs> Moving on to crowd control, this is where we show you the best memes and stuff floating all around the interwebs. Oh. Up first, I'm starting big. Oh. Now, we ain't gonna zoom in uh, to the whole thing. You can't see everything, because it's super huge huge, but I just need to, uh, to let you know that this oh. exists. Okay. Look at all of these. This is insane. What? So all the ships, these are all the ships from, you can't read them all. These are all the ships from like multiple games, Star Wars, oh, wow. uh, Warhammer. The, up in the tor corner there oh, you saw really the, cool. um, uh, the Dreadnought to kind of give you a sense of scale from Star Wars Whoa. coming down through uh, a lot of Warhammer here. Some of the Warhammer ones have been left out just because uh, they cheat um, oh. by saying like, oh, we have invincible ships. Now the craziest thing, is the High Charity from Halo. You saw how big those ships were and yeah. how many there were? Yeah. The High Charity wouldn't even have fit on that picture. What? Yeah, there are some big ships in the universe and it's just kind of cool to see them all come together. Kind of like the maps we showed um, yeah, yeah. before, yeah. I love these scaling um, yeah, maps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's nuts. Is, yeah. I, I wonder one day if we're gonna get a ship that big in, in IRL. IRL? That'll be yeah. the day we die. <laughs> what? It will. That's when aliens will come and destroy us all. It's okay. That That's how I want to go out. That's how I want to go out. All okay? Right. okay? You ever had those moments that you felt so badass, but for sure thought that was just a chance? Well, Fire Girl proves that, um, well, they feel the same way after the sequence. Okay, oh, so. I've heard this level is actually hardcore hard. I, I'm scared. No, 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 no. no. Oh, my no. God. Whoa, 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 whoa. We knew the whole time. Do you think it was calculated? What the hell? Saved by the pole at the end. Saved by the pole. Yeah, there are some hardcore runs people do with that where, like, not to even just die on that level. Yeah. Have you ever done anything so badass, but it was complete accident, but you kind of played it off? Literally all the time. Anytime I complete a video game, I'm like, how did that, <laughs> like, how did that even happen? You, Unless it's the like Animal Crossing where, like, I'm amazing at it, uh, or Stardew Valley. If it's a game of skill where a lot of skill so, is involved, like when I made top five in Tetris online, like, how the heck did so I do that? So if you ever do land an Ollie, it's just going to be pure chance? Oh, 100 <laughs> chance. Like, it's a, again, in skateboarding, it's not real until you do it twice. <laughs> Because a lot of people can do yeah, tricks, yeah, but yeah, unless yeah. you land it twice, it's not real. That's so the, that's the best. it'll be fluke. You yeah. always say to someone, does something amazing? All right, do, do it, it again. twice. Uh, that's exactly how it works. Yeah. All right, okay. it's time for our last post. This one comes from Reddit users uh, Kolafi, who shows us an ingenious way to immerse yourself in Forza. 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 Sorry, Forza. Um, now it looks. This is the coolest thing. It looks like they are in a cock like or a cockpit. Uh, the the cab of the car. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That they literally just have their wheel two inches in front of the TV. Oh my God, this looks incredible. It's genius. This looks so good, I want this. 
The only thing you're not getting is, oh, do you know what you should do is set up a fan so it blows as oh, well. Oh, blows, yeah. But that's, I think that was absolutely genius. I Dude. never thought that. Like, I'm like, I've always wanted a sick driving setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, only thing that could use more would be like a curved screen. No, but I always want a sick setup. That's a yeah. cheap way to do that. Just oh literally God, sit two inches from the TV. And think Opposite about, of what your mom always told you to do. <laughs> and think about like how fast you can go and like not get a speeding ticket or driving right. Oh my ticket. God. Please. You got, I thought we were all making fun of me. <laughs> I had to get one ready. Oh my God. Yo. Can we talk about that? No, we're not going to talk Why? about that. Yo, because I can't demon. drive my motorcycle now. And I'm upset about it, and you're making me angry. What about that time you Hey, you know what? No more from you. That's the end of it. I'm a good boy, and you're dumb. I hate you. I'm leaving. Anyways, that's it for today <laughs> on Unmuted. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember that you can always hit us on our socials. Someone in the uh, chat type exclamation mark socials right now for our channels, and we'll catch you next time.